What's up guys, PopUp101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to put your own custom VFX in Blade and Sorcery for U9. So let's get started. Now, one thing I'd like to mention to you guys is this video will be showing you how to make custom particles for your fireball spell. But this method can be used for any, I repeat, any VFX you want to change. For example, you know how Davy changed the effects of his ice spell or earthbending just like that you would just need to choose different jasons than what i'm about to show you but it is actually really easy to do so first off you need to have made your own custom vfx already this tutorial will not be showing you how to make your own after you have done that what you want to do is create a new empty and rename it i'll just rename it easy fireball Go to add component. What you're going to want to do is type in effect particle. This allows your particles to show up in game. So you need this or else the particles will not show up in game. It is very, very important. Now all you do is you drag your particles under the new empty that you just made. So there you go. Everything is playing properly. You go to addressable groups. You create a new group. Now let's rename it Fire. Of course, set it as the default. If it's not set as the default, it will not work in game. Drag in your easy fireball so you can create the prefab. And just to make sure, the effect particle is in the prefab that you just dragged in. Now you drag that into fire. Let's rename it something simple like popup101s.easy fireball. Create a new folder, name it my fireball. Okay, so default your own custom name for the particle. New folder name and make sure to select the addressable group. Build and export. No. Save it. Now, what you want to do is go into your mod folder. Fire will show up there. In, well, your fire particles will show up under my fireball. You want to go and let's take the fireball effect. So what we are going to need is effect underscore spell fireball. Now we go to my fireball. Double click on it. And as you can tell, it already has all the custom effects for the previous fireball, which we do not need. For example, this audio, we won't be needing that. This, we won't be needing. We won't need the audio again. Now what you can do is go up and we are going to be deleting all of this. Except for... Make sure that there's no comma there. We are going to be deleting all of it except for the effect module particle. Now, super simple guys. All you want to do is go back to Unity. We named it PyPop101's.EasyFireball. The effect particle address. Now remember what we did. We added the effect particle script. Once we have done that, now all we do is, since we named it PyPop101's.EasyFireball, right there, we put that name in right here for the address. Make sure to save it. And of course, you are going to be needing to add a manifest. So let's go do that real quick. Okay, so 
So now that we have our manifest, our effect underscore spell fireball, we've built it and it is in our own folder now. When you put this in game, when you try to load up blade and sorcery, your fireball will now use the effects that you made in Unity. And that is really it, guys. So it's not too difficult to do. It's just like building a regular mod. Just need to rename a couple of things to get everything working. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole lot, and I would definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already, check out my Discord link in the description, along with my Patreon to support the channel. Thank you very much, and have a good one, guys.